Yes, you see, top. Now we get target. Wait a minute. I got to the boy to tell you what. See, the guy is in the boy, don't see. See, just pass me out the street. Wait, you understand? I see, I'm the guy, 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 I'm well, I've not yet fixed my version 3 because my version 3 is here, but I'm not recording it yet. Okay, and so here's a 360 view, and when I'm showing a 360 view, I explain some things. This is going to be an entry to Spring Rock Freeze, um, like a candy machine contest. There's a locking mechanism, sleeping design, holds 28 rounds, and takes pennies for now. It's going to be a 5p machine, but 5p didn't work. There's the good stoppers. At the moment, this bar is locked. And you get no candy. So you take a penny. Then you put it into the queen slot. Like so. Push once, then you should be able to push again and you get your gobstuffer pull back it's rooted and it's locked again so you take another penny put it in the coin slot push once twice it's reloaded well go gobstuffer it doesn't reload until you drag it back then it's locked and reloaded. So you take another penny, put it in, push, push again, you get gold stopper again. Pull back, it reloads, and it's locked. The reason why the bar didn't lock there is because it won't be loaded. And so you take another penny. Put it into the coin slot. Push once, twice. You get another gob stopper. Pull it back. Slot again. So you take another penny. Put it in. Push. You get another gob stopper. You pull it back again, it's reloaded and so on and so here's how to get the money back you turn to the back then put the wire up you should shake it out one to out two three four five the tight coin slot as you may see coin backwards is only thin so it only just fits and to put the cup of stuffers back in you just open the roof so, this bit normally would stay there. Uh, if I come to the top, you can see all the good stuff is in there. It's all really tight. But there's a tiny bit around the back that you can't see. It holds 28, as I said. You can see around 28 times. And of course, I could have made a spare probably, but I didn't have enough pieces to. But I like the sleeping design on it. It's it's called a swerve. Um, and this bit here, you might have noticed, this one is this bit. They're meant to be there. Because from the top, it makes it look a bit more jazzy. It makes it look like it could spin like one of those spiral tops. And of course it's locked. Once it's reloaded. So that's the whole coin slots kind of like a bare skeleton. And now I am gonna show the mechanism for the last time they'll ever do a Lego like, video. The other mechs will be on a separate video after a certain amount of things. Okay, so here's the mech. As you see, it's locked by the blue lever and you can't push it at all. And so you get a penny, put it in the coin slot which lifts up the bar, so you push, you get a gobstopper, and the money falls. 
And of course, because I'm only fools, the bar's dropped. So when you put it back, it's locks again. A simple mechanism, and there's the penny. And of course, spring rock it has a tower on it, so you can't shake the candy out either. And have a demonstration quickly. So I hope you enjoyed my Lego Candy Machine version 4. Please comment, rate and subscribe and thank you for watching it. Hope, you, hope I win.